we can easily heal the partial rotator cuff injuries without any kind of surgeries. Frozen shoulder or rotator cuff injury. How to differentiate between these two conditions? So friends, in both of these conditions, there will be pain in the shoulder and the patient is unable to lift his arm. So first we will talk about the rotator cuff injuries. So what is rotator cuff? Rotator cuff is a group of four muscles which surrounds the shoulder and provides the stability and movement to the shoulder. So when there is a complete rotator cuff injury, then the patient is unable to move his hand, unable to lift his hand. Particularly, the most common injury which occurs is the supraspinatus complete tear. In the complete tear, he is unable to lift his hand. But if somebody tries to lift his hand passively or if he do it with his other hand like this, he is able to lift the hand. This means that the patient has only rotator cuff injury and there is no frozen shoulder component. In the frozen shoulder, the patient is able to lift the hand, but at certain degree, there will be restriction or there will be stopping of the movement. That means I am able to lift my hand up to this level, but after that, it is not going and it is painful. When some other person try to lift your hand or if you try to lift your hand with the help of your other hand, then also after that particular level, you are not able to lift the hand. This means you have a frozen shoulder. In frozen shoulder, there is a thickening of the shoulder capsule and the shoulder capsules become stiff. There is one more condition in which the frozen shoulder and complete supraspinatus or rotator cuff tears are present combinedly. This is a very common finding. In this situation, the patient is neither able to lift his hand, but if somebody tries to lift the hand, then also it will get restricted up to some amount of range of motion. So friends, if you are suffering from a frozen shoulder or a rotator cuff injury and you are confused, then do send your MRI and queries to us and we will be telling you what is the best treatment of these problems. These days due to medical advancement, we can easily heal the partial rotator cuff injuries without any kind of surgeries. So we heal it with the orthobiologics injection. We make the injections through our own blood which has platelets. and when we inject the orthobiologics in your shoulder, they heal the partial tear completely. In a complete rotator cuff tear, you will require an arthroscopic surgeries. The advancement in the medical sciences now, we do double row rotator cuff repair with a speed bridge technique in which we use the biocomposite anchors and the fiber tape internal bracing. This has minimized the post-operative immobilization and your recovery will become very fast and very early. So friends, do send us your MRI and we will tell you what will be the best treatment option for you.